The CEO of Hyundai, one of the world's major automobile manufacturers, has presented a new engine that wants to put an end to electric vehicles in a stunning declaration that has sent shockwaves throughout the automotive industry. This insight comes at a time when the worldwide movement towards sustainability and the adoption of electric vehicles is gaining traction. This essay will go through the specifics of this revolutionary engine, its possible influence, and the ramifications for the future of transportation. Hyundai CEO introduced a revolutionary internal combustion engine at a press conference at the company's headquarters, threatening the supremacy of electric automobiles. This new engine, known as the Hydro Ignition Powertrain, or AIP, employs breakthrough technology that mixes hydrogen fuel with standard combustion processes. According to the CEO, the HIP engine has various advantages over EVs, including greater range, faster refueling times, and lower overall costs. The HIP engine's improved range is one of the primary benefits claimed by Hyundai's CEO. While electric vehicles have made great progress in recent years, many consumers are still concerned about range anxiety. According to Hyundai, the HIP engine solves this problem by giving a range equivalent to typical gasoline-powered vehicles, essentially eliminating the limits associated with EVs. Furthermore, refueling time has been a big disadvantage for electric vehicles, with charging stations taking a long time to fully fill the batteries. The HIP engine intends to solve this issue by providing refueling times equivalent to conventional vehicles. This benefit may be especially enticing to users who are accustomed to traditional autos' quick and efficient refueling process. Another critical problem that Hyundai thinks the HIP engine can address is cost. While electric vehicles have gotten more affordable over the years, they still cost more than their ICE counterparts. The development of the HIP engine, which uses existing infrastructure and does not necessitate the costly manufacturing processes associated with EVs, may result in a more cheap transportation choice for customers. The CEO of Hyundai's unveiling of the HIP engine raises serious concerns about the future of the automobile industry, which has been rapidly transitioning towards electrification. While electric vehicles have acquired tremendous traction and extensive backing from both governments and customers, the introduction of a viable alternative in the shape of the HIP engine may derail this trend. The potential influence on the EV market is one direct consequence of this announcement. Hyundai's HIP engine might represent a severe threat to electric vehicles, particularly in areas where charging infrastructure is still growing or non-existent. If the HIP engine is successful and widely used, it has the potential to limit the expansion of the electric vehicle market and redirect expenditures away from EV charging infrastructure. The HIP engine may also have an impact on global efforts to cut greenhouse gas emissions and battle climate change. Electric vehicles with zero tailpipe emissions have been praised as a cleaner alternative to internal combustion engines. However, the HIP engine continues to rely on hydrogen combustion, which creates water vapor as a byproduct. While this emission is substantially less hazardous than the greenhouse gases released by traditional engines, it may not be as clean as electric vehicles. The real significance of Hyundai's HIP engine, like any significant technological advancement, can only be determined over time. It will be determined by a number of factors, including customer acceptance, infrastructural development, and regulatory backing. It is worth noting that the automotive industry has made tremendous advancements in electric car technology, and many manufacturers are highly invested in the electrification trend. As a result, incumbent electric vehicle manufacturers will most certainly face tough competition from the HIP engine. Furthermore, the worldwide shift towards sustainability and the shift to renewable energy sources cannot be overlooked. Electric vehicles have been extensively promoted by governments and environmental organizations as a tool to cut carbon emissions and battle climate change. It remains to be seen how the HIP engine will be regarded in this environment, given it still uses hydrogen combustion, but with lower emissions than traditional engines. Furthermore, the success of Hyundai's HIP engine will be greatly influenced by factors other than its technical capabilities. The availability and accessibility of hydrogen fuel is a critical factor. While hydrogen infrastructure is being built in some areas, it is not as broad or well-established as electric charging infrastructure. The scalability and cost of hydrogen production and distribution will be key in determining the HIP engine's broad adoption. Consumer perception and preference will also play a key part in the HIP engine's fate. 
Electric vehicles have grown in popularity in recent years, with many consumers embracing the concept of ecologically friendly and sustainable mobility. Even with the advantages given by the HIP engine, convincing consumers to return to internal combustion engines may prove difficult. Consumer education and awareness campaigns will very certainly be required to emphasize the advantages and disadvantages of both technologies. Furthermore, the regulatory landscape will have an impact on the HIP engine's future. Many governments and regions have developed policies and incentives to encourage the adoption of electric vehicles, such as subsidies, tax breaks, and harsher pollution laws. The willingness of governments to support or promote the usage of the HIP engine will have a substantial impact on its market acceptance and growth. It is critical to recognize that the automobile industry is a complex ecosystem with many players, including manufacturers, suppliers, infrastructure providers, and customers. Any big technological or paradigm shift necessitates buy-in and collaboration from all parties involved. The HIP engine's success will be determined not only by Hyundai's efforts, but also by the support and cooperation of other industry participants. Furthermore, the HIP engine's debut raises concerns about the broader ramifications for the energy sector. Electric vehicles are frequently viewed as a means of incorporating renewable energy sources into the transportation sector. EVs can be powered by renewable energy generated from solar, wind, or hydro sources by depending on electricity, minimizing reliance on fossil fuels. The HIP engine, on the other hand, is based on hydrogen combustion, which raises questions concerning the availability and supply of hydrogen fuel. Hydrogen fuel can be produced using a variety of ways, including electrolysis, steam methane reforming, and biomass gasification. While renewable energy-powered electrolysis can produce green hydrogen, the majority of hydrogen production currently relies on fossil fuels, which emit carbon dioxide as a byproduct. To fully realize the HIP engine's potential environmental benefits, a switch to carbon-neutral hydrogen manufacturing processes would be required. Furthermore, extensive investment and development would be required to facilitate widespread deployment of the HIP engine. Electric vehicles have benefited from an expanding network of charging stations, both public and commercial. In comparison, infrastructure for hydrogen refueling is significantly less common. Establishing a comprehensive hydrogen refueling network would necessitate significant infrastructure investment and collaboration among different parties, including governments, fuel providers, and automakers. The AKIP engine's success would have ramifications for the renewable energy sector. As electric vehicles become more widespread, they may act as a market for excess renewable energy generation. The electric car ecosystem helps to balance the grid and reduces the demand for energy storage solutions by charging EVs on the grid during periods of high renewable energy generation. The prospective change to the HIP engine may have an impact on the dynamics of this symbiotic relationship between electric vehicles and renewable energy. Finally, a disclosure of Hyundai's HIP engine as a potential alternative to electric vehicles generates a slew of questions and concerns. While the engine's purported benefits in terms of range, refueling time, and cost are appealing, there are considerable obstacles to overcome, including hydrogen fuel availability, customer preferences, governmental support, and infrastructure development. Furthermore, the consequences for the energy industry and the incorporation of renewable energy sources must be carefully considered. The automotive industry is at a crossroads, and the struggle between diverse technologies and their environmental implications will shape transportation's future. Only time will tell how the HIP engine's arrival will affect the trajectory of electric vehicles and the broader shift towards sustainable mobility. Thank you for sticking with me all the way to the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure the notification bell is turned on so you don't miss a video.